Hey there, hope you are doing well. In this session, we will solve one of the SQL based interview question. Let's take a look at the data set that we have. Before I uh, jump on to the data set, let me explain you what is the input and what is the output that we need. So this is the table that we have where we have student name, student skills and each student have multiple skills. So we need to get the multiple rows and concatenate them into a single row. So if you take a look at Sam, he knows Azure Databricks. ADF, Python and SQL. These are the multiple skills that Sam knows. So all the skills that Sam knows are concatenated into a single line. So in the source table, they are present in multiple lines and in the output, they are concatenated into a single line. So let's take a look at the actual table. We have table called DBO is the schema and then table name is TBL underscore skills where we have fields like student name, student name and student skills, student skill. And this is the data that we just saw. So let's try to build the solution for this. Solution query and table DDL along with insert statement is provided in the description box. Please go and check it out. So we are going to say here select first we will say from clause and our schema name and table that is available as a source tbl underscore skills. Okay. Definitely we need to group the data by student name but how can we concatenate the uh, multiple row values into single row. Definitely when we group the data we can perform the aggregation. We can use aggregation functions like mean, max, count and all. But to aggregate multiple rows text value into single row we can use one of the string function that is present that is string underscore aggregate. So here first we need student name as table uh, sorry column alias is student underscore name this is a column alias and we need to aggregate so we are going to use string function called string underscore aggregate now string underscore aggregate function what it will take it will take a, an expression or column reference and then a separator right when it concatenates multiple rows into one row how you want to separate each value so we need to if you look at the definition as well that uh, Microsoft shows here built in function string aggregation. We need to provide expression separator and it returns uh, an varchar value of max type. Okay. So here we need to first provide expression. Expression is nothing but our column that I will write here student skills. What is the column name that we have? This is the column. Okay. I will refer here. I will remove this line and separator I am going to use a pipeline character space pipeline character and again space this looks good this separator and I will name it this column table uh, column alias as skills and as we are aggregating on a field and we also uh, showing non aggregated field there is a field which is not not aggregated in the select statement we need to include that so student name we need to include in group by clause as this student name is not aggregated okay now here we get the result that we need but there is one more thing that we need to understand that in the result I can see for example in case of Mike you can see that Mike knows ADF, SQL, C sharp and Java. Now once values are concatenated I want to order them in ascending order. That means first should come ADF then second should come C sharp and then Java and last should be SQL should be last skill. So these values should also be ordered alphabetically. So how to order these values? I am going to use one of the clause within group. You can use this with string aggregation function and I will say order the values, order the grouped values by student skills. Student skill in ascending order ASC and column alias is skill. Now it will take each value from student skill within that particular group that belong to Mike and order them in ascending order. Now here something is not correct. That is why it is highlighted. It says, okay, there is double by by. We need to delete this one. Now everything looks good. Let me execute this query. And now you can see the result by name of student. We have group the data by student name and we have concatenated that skill their skills into single line and we have also ordered the skill in ascending order alphabetical order if you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos 